Now let's use this satellite formula. It has four components. What I'm going to do is put up a question, a problem, and then you look at the satellite formula. Make sure you have it written out in front of you and say, do I put component one equal to component two or do I set component two to component three? What do I need to solve that problem? So actually write it out and then circle the unknown that is asked for and then try to solve that equation that you get for that unknown. <laughs> now then I hit the play and see what I did. And after several of these, you'll get very good at it and be able to, I think, quite easily solve uh, satellite problems. All right, here's the first one. I hit pause, read it through, try it. We see that a satellite orbits a planet in that many seconds. Ah, they've just given me the period. Therefore, I'm going to use this equation. They've given me orbital radius, and they want me to find the mass. There's nothing with orbital velocity, orbital speed. So, I will equate the first part to the third part. So I write that out, G, uh, M of the planet. Notice it's not Earth. A lot of people mess up and put uh, the mass for Earth in, but this is an unknown planet. And uh, over R squared, the distance between centered squared, and uh, we have the uh, mass of the satellite, 4 pi squared, R over T squared. The question says what, you know, first of all, notice that we can cancel the mass of the satellite. That goes out and they want us to find the mass of the planet. So I do some algebra now, and I can uh, bring, uh, let's see, what have we got here? We can get uh, bring the r up, and I get 4 pi squared r cubed, and I will divide by capital G, that's the universal gravitational constant, times t squared. And I see I've got r, the distance between centers, there it is, given. I have G, and I have the period, and uh, there it is. Let's try another one. Hit pause and read this through. Now they're asking for the altitude. That's very important. Ah, and they've given me orbital speed. And so I know I'm going to use that second part. There's nothing about period, nothing about the acceleration due to gravity. So I will set the first part of the equation equal to the second, the first component to the second. And I have m v squared over r. Now r is the total distance between centers. It will be re plus h. But we'll put r in when we solve. And we have uh, the gravitational uh, equation, gme ms over r squared. Once again, notice that the mass of the satellites cancel. And on the one side, the r squared, one of those r's will cancel this r right here. And they want me to find the altitude. Well, first of all, I will solve for r, the total distance, which is re plus h. And that r will equal g m e over v squared. I hope that you're uh, doing this yourself and working it through. And um, what I need to actually find, though, is r. And so to find that, um, I will say that whatever value I get is equal to h plus the radius of the Earth. And I'll have to subtract the radius of the Earth to find the altitude. Let's try another. Again, hit pause and read it through. Well, as I read this one, uh, again, it says that it's at an altitude, so I know I'm above the Earth's surface, and they want me to find the period of uh, revolution. Ha-ha! <laughs> so there it is. I have the period, and I'm going to set the first component to the second, just like that. The masses cancel out again. And I say, what have we got here? We've got t squared equals, if I'm solving for the period, and I solve and get 4 pi squared, and then look, r cubed, the r comes up, and I will divide by g m e. This is about the earth. And I'll remember to take the square root, and that'll tell me the period that I need. 
And of course, uh, it says the altitude above. So that value for R right there will be the radius of the Earth plus not 200 kilometers, but 200,000 meters. You have to convert those uh, kilometers to meters when you actually work it out. Now, now we're not working it out. We're just getting the equations. A little bit of practice. Okay, let's try another one now. Again, hit pause and work it through. Now they say, what is the acceleration? And so I'll use that part of the formula over there. I'll use that g prime. There's nothing about period, nothing about orbital speed. So I will set uh, the first component equal to the fourth component. And I'll have uh, ms times g, that's uh, mg. Uh, and g prime, remember, is not the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth. <laughs> this is what we want to find at this height. And I'll set it equal to the first component there. And uh, the mass of the satellites cancel out. And oh, look, <laughs> there is g right there. And we just put the numbers in, and we would end up finding the answer. All right, let's do one more. Practice question five. One more time. Uh, what is the orbital speed? Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to use the second component. Nothing about the period, nothing about the acceleration, and so I'll set again the first to the second, just like that. The mass of the satellite cancel out, and once again, uh, one of the r's will cancel across like that, and uh, for the orbital speed, I can rewrite it, and I will take the square root. I'll say v equals root uh, g m e over r. And don't forget to take that square root. Lots of students forget that. Now remember, we're not using numbers right now. I'm just saying, hey, let's look at how to set up all of these equations. Now they've given us the height above the Earth, so we have to add on the radius of the Earth. And we would write uh, that r equals re plus the height. 